Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we dicked about in a silent challenge thing. We also got like water dragon scale thing which means we can now uh, swim underwater which is rather helpful for exploring areas. And we're also climbing the Great Deku Tree which isn't a Deku Tree, it's just the Great Tree because they have no Dekus in this game. Uh, I, I kind of forget why. There's a reason. I'm sure there's a very important reason. That sounded like a collectible. I would like that collectible, please. Uh, we got a... I don't know. I, we, we're quite a way through this Let's Play, but I still don't appreciate the fact that it still shows me the menus. I know what that is. I know I didn't have any at the time, but I know what it is. Are we at the top yet? I don't think we are. We need this for something, and I... Do I remember what this is for? Maybe I remember what this is for. Uh, nothing at the moment. What, 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 won't pay attention to that. Anyway, we, we, we're climbing the Deku Tree. There's something up here. Fee's telling me something. I don't really care because I think I actually remember why we're up here. Especially when we get up here and there's a cutscene telling us exactly why we're up here. At the moment, we're just climbing the tree because it seemed like a fun thing to do. I think that's basically what's going on. You have reached the top of the tree. I mean, not really. If we turn around, there's more to it. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. Oh yeah, things to explore. I'm sure there's somewhere in here we haven't explored. Love the view, though. It's pretty good. Who the fuck are you? Master, look up there. It is an old person. Oh dear. I have confirmed the discovery of a new Kikwi. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we have been hearing were the loud snores of this Kikwi. They snore loudly? Do they snore loudly? Can I kill you? I would like to kill you. Right. <laughs> Get down here, you fuck. I'll go bone a pick with you. Kikwi! Now, he's like an old guy, so I'm going to give him like a really sort of old, high-pitched voice. Who's it? I'm napping! That's, that's, it needs to be high-pitched or something. Oh, look at that! A real-life human! Haven't seen one of you in a while! I'm gonna go with this. They used to call me Yerbal. Uh, <laughs> Yerbal. Now I'm just the old Kikwi Hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I'm sure that never happens. I don't know why, I don't know how you wandered all, all the way up here. Let me ask you something, can you really see me? Nope, I'm just talking to thin air. Oh dear. Is that so? Well then, slap yourself in the back. You know, some Kikwis can't, can't even see me these days. Are you that invisible? But forget all that nonsense and tell me, what business does a real life human have in these woods? The flame! The flame! <laughs> Estimation mark. You're out questing for a flame to enhance your sword? So that you can find someone important to you, eh? <laughs> Why is this so high? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame. It's incredible. I sound slightly like Michael Jackson, but that's okay. Listen, do you promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious. No promises. <laughs> Love the options, they're fantastic. Alright, I'll tell you, but remember, it's a secret to everybody that's never shown up in a Zelda game before. Holy shit. Oh, manly voice. The flame you seek is most likely Ferrari's flame. Yes, yes, Ferrari's flame. That story begins very long ago when the goddess was still with us. And I'm still gonna do this really high fucking annoying voice. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the way I hear it is she left the flame in the care of the water dragon so that one day the mighty dragon can pass it on to the one from the sky. That might be me. You see, I've got a hunt from the goddess was that the god was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles that. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Yeah! Oh dear! Oh, mmm. Deep voice, think deep thoughts. Her lair is deep in the lake in the south of these woods. She watches over the flame there. Yeah, there's a problem, problem though. The gate that leads to this dead lake is sealed shut to all those judged unworthy. But don't worry, I'll, I'll let you in on a trick to opening the gate. There's something missing as part of this emblem I know. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into its doors. Ah, oh, but it isn't that simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must take the sim make the symbol whole. Oh dear, the only way you'll know what the sim is Fuck it, we'll just skip the text. It's here somewhere. Mm. Oh yes, it's a gate down in the south. Uh, matching symbol. Uh, near the X. I know what it looks like. I don't actually have to go there. We'll mark a beacon just to make him happy. Is all of this seeping into your head, lad? Do you know where you must go to find the symbol you see? Oh, uh, I don't know. I wasn't listening. Then I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh dear. Oh, wait up. Ah, <laughs> this is an- are you annoyed yet? I'm annoyed. I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon is very persnickety about matters, so watch yourself. I've heard stories of folk who caught her in a fussy mood. They end up- they end up as mid-morning snacks. She sounds like fun. I probably taste like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal. 
So don't let her know I told you about Rory's flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hall, you'd better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. Oh, please stop talking, please. I can't do it anymore. Um, yeah, um, okay, so can we just fall down? There is a thing we need to do here. Oh, no. Okay, we're falling down. Bye, everybody. Um, don't want to die. Okay. Oh, I need to get my voice back from all of that. We need to go. I know exactly where we need to go. It says we need to go over here. No, we don't. We need to go here. There's an area around here somewhere. I think it's... Dove? Mad that one? Might be that one. Uh, maybe. Hang on a second. Well, there's a symbol we have to copy. It's it's right here. Fee don't talk to me, but the symbol's right here, just in case you don't know what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Right, here we go. We gotta do this. I'm sure there's an enemy around here, which is gonna be really annoying. Goodbye. There we go. Right, let's do this. Are you gonna let me do this? Or have I actually gotta acknowledge the fact that there was something which I had to go look at? Master, my calculations indicate there is an 80% probability that the sacred flame lies beyond this gate. Very interesting. I've also deduced that the power of the goddess this Kikri Hermit referred to is in fact the Skyward Strike. Charge your sword while standing in front of the gate and use its energy to draw the missing portion of the symbol. Oh, that was in a couple of breaths. Now, yeah, we're gonna do this. This is kind of something they do a couple of times in this, in this game. Hello, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be near it. I'm gonna actually strike it. I have to draw things! I'm good at drawing! I make circles. That's my circle. Ain't it beautiful? No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can draw circles. Watch me draw a circle. Let's just let's just watch that again. We'll do that again. I'll do it right this time. Uh, it's a circle of life. There we go. That's a circle. Don't tell me that isn't a circle. Fantastic. I actually had to make it quite a bit bigger. We have completed the emblem, the symbol, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't even show up on there. That'd be kind of nice if it did. Uh, it's the symbol of Ferrore. It pretty much always has. But this leads us to a new area. An, an area we couldn't actually go to. I don't think we would have... I'm not sure if you could actually go past there and just draw it on anyway. But instead, we have something incredible to do. We're diving into the unknown. Into the... Well, if we didn't have the water dragon scale, this would be quite awkward and quite difficult as well. Because there's an, it's a water area. This is, if we get it in a little second... Love the music, by the way. Lake Floria. Yeah. It's it's not like Lake Hylia. I forget even why it's called Lake Floria. It's, you know... there Was a was there a goddess Floria? I don't know. There's a reason. Someone who knows more about the lore... Explain why it's uh, Lake Floria. Because I don't know. We're actually... Are we drifting? Or is that just the water playing... I don't know. We're, go we're, we're diving. We're diving. And we're going to use our swimming. Because we're quite good at that. We can also... Dolphin dive out of the... Uh, well, del well, dolphin dive out of the water, which is useful for getting some uh, some water to do, or some air when you can't do it. Why are you putting me in a cutscene? I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I fell off. That's that's not good. We can't get out now. That is a shame. We'll have to be a salmon. We'll have to, like, go up river waterfalls. What the fuck is this? What, what's your voice gonna be? Why are you giving me more things to think up noises for? Hack! Another human! This kind of works. Okay, okay. I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. It's scary. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get you. I'm like a shark. It's Jaws. Oh, me remaking Jaws over here. I'm gonna get you. Gonna get you. Gonna come and get you. I, I, is it like a dash attack? Did it have a name? I don't know. Uh, quit following me. Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellently the water dragon about your little incursion. Ah, I see how this is. You want me to follow you. It's kind of a... Uh, I'm trying to escape, but I'm not doing it to a, at any sort of pace. Haha, I didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you'll be able to follow me through now. Uh, so what now? Are you gonna go cry? You think you can make it through? Just go ahead and try. I can do that. I have magical pushy powers. Oh yeah. What now, squid thing? Gah, how is that even, how is that even possible? I've never seen a, pull, a human pull off a spin like that. Wait. That's a Wharton Dragon Scale. Wharton? I keep calling it a Wharton Dragon Scale. Does that make you an emissary? That's a funny word. Of the goddess, like the water dragon said. Like a messenger. I don't know. Uh, hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her. Excellent. So, no. Uh, yeah, take me to well. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, it happened really recently. This weirdo came in with a gang of monsters and went right after her. Excellence. Uh, my lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy, did she gobble up most of the monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says she won't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. That's quite bad. So could you please go talk of her, her excellence and see if you can help her out? I'll even take you to her. Follow me! So, uh, someone broke in. Uh, I don't know if they were swimming. 
I, I imagine they were swimming, and I think the, the person who was leading the gang of monsters, is that supposed to be Girahim? Was Girahim swimming through here? Is that a beautiful sight? Is that just a beautiful sight to me? Because, you know, it sounds like it. Isn't this the place with the sharks? I think this might be the place with the sharks. There's an underwater save point. I don't know. Huh? That's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here. And the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? I don't know. I'll have to do something. I'm a problem solver. It's just what I do. It really is. Can I can I roll into you guys? Is that a thing I can do? It might be. Uh, it can. And I, it doesn't hurt me. That's also quite good. Strange things making noise in my in my office. I don't know what that was. I uh, I need to. Uh, I can do one really close, really close. There is a save point. I didn't know you could save underwater. Uh, da, 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 go round. Slightly awkward swimming controls. Push them into there, and there we go. I'm a problem solver. It is my profession. I'm not a hero. I solve problems. Oh yeah. I'm like a I'm like a plumber. I've solved problems, but very specific problems pertaining to blowing things up. Oh, now that's using your noodle. That's slightly more posh than I want. Her Excellency, Her Excellency is just up ahead, over this way. I don't know what this guy's voice is supposed to be anymore, but they don't show up for very long, so frankly, who cares? Oh no, they're, they're weird. You know, you don't see these races anymore in any other Zelda game, and it's a bit of an inconsistency. I can, I can dolphin dive, oh yeah. Oh, I'm a fish now. Fantastic. Wow, perfect jump. I'd call you amazing, but I think we both know it was the water dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. Fuck you. I had to shake the nunchuck. That is difficult to do, and I had to time it so I didn't just run into it. I expect I expect respect, okay? I really do. Um, because otherwise I'm not helping your, your water dragon do shit, okay? I don't really give a shit. I'm trying to find a flame to power up a sword so I can hit a giant stone and do other things. I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just jumping through hoops. All I'm doing, all I'm doing in this game at the moment is jumping through a series of hoops. The hoops may be kind of fun, and you know, they are kind of fun, but, you know, it's just a means to an end. This whole part of the game is just a, a means to understand things a little bit better. What happened to the fishy guy? Okay, that's not a fishy guy, that's a sharky guy, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, this is kind of fun. Yikes! Oh, they're back! That's one of the fish that Weirdo brought here and, ah, uh, yeah, brought in here to, and used to attack Her Excellence. Watch out, they're mean as they come! I don't know. I'm pretty mean. I'm a, I'm a mean, mean green shark fighting machine. I don't I just like jump into, like dive into you? Ah, oh, take that shark! Take that shark! Oh yeah, that was really mean. I really felt the mean nature of that shark. Wow, the goddess sure knows how to pick him. You did great. Yeah, I did. It's just what I do. I expect the praise. <laughs> anyway, can we just get on with things? I want to do things this episode. I know this is a bit of a drawn out uh, part of the game. But even so, we don't have to have a running commentary. Can you open the gate, please? At last, we're here. Can you open the gate, please? You don't have to tell me we're here. It looks like an important door. I expect that we might be here. By the fact that it's important, Her Excellence the Water Dragon is just up ahead. Hang on just a second. You, you could have done this. Oh, he's turning into a key. I see how that works. His head is a key. Is this like... That's an interesting idea. Your race of people are genetically designed for their head to be a key, so that everywhere they go, they don't, they don't have to like, carry a, a keychain. That's kind of cool. It'd be weird if you changed the locks, though. Please, come in. Uh, I gotta wipe my feet. My feet are a bit soggy. I might need to do... <laughs> what the fuck? Just get in there! I want to talk to people and do things. Oh. The padding is here in this game, but sometimes it's more... Uh, more deeply padded. There's more padding in some parts of this game than others, and this is... Where it starts to become, hey, let's flesh this out a bit more. And it's nice meeting new people and going to new locations. But I would like to do something substantial with these new people and in these new, new locations. Anyway, let's, let's, let's say hi to you. You're the water dragon. Why are you sitting in a bathtub or something? Ah, oh, you there, human! Hi, are you, are you quite scary? You have intrude, intruded into my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as you. And yet here you stand. Will you explain how you got here and quickly? I'm really lost. I'm really, really lost. I can't make my way. I am. Those are, those are manners address me as Farron, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. You're sitting in a bathtub. Hmm? You're not very intimidating at all. I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen heroes. But could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. How did you find me? One of your people let me in. Uh, ah, yes. That cackling old hermit Kikwi told me where, you, where I live, didn't he? 
Please don't kill him. His, his voice is very high. Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. As for last straw, next time I see him, he's dinner. Seems a bit harsh. Oh, but I, dig but I digress. You've come here seeking sacred flame, haven't you? I forget. I <laughs> love the other options. I feel like I should use them more often. I knew it. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Voices, but I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. What more do I need to do? Holy shit! There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. I knew it! I just forgot about it, okay? I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded I was wounded in the encounter. That's it. So he was swimming. That's what that means. That's a beautiful that's a beautiful image. The wounds he's given me are stubborn are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. It is it's a bath. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and I'm now in now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh water fresh sacred water that I require. There's only one place we can find that. Do me this favor and I'll gladly show you where where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? No thanks. I I know, it just, it'll just make the conversation longer. I don't want to do that. I am analyzing the water remaining in this basin. Excellent. I can now help you down for the water type you are searching for. And there's only one place we can find it, and I'm not happy about it. Master, if you do not have a container suitable for transporting water, please prepare a vessel for this purpose. I can do that, Fee. I can do that in much gusto. A little bit annoying, this side quest. It is, it's not a side quest. It feels like a side quest, but it's a main quest. If you continue down this hall, you will find an exit back to the woods. And hopefully something important. Excellent, now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. Oh, fuck me. So, um, <laughs> what we actually have to do, what we are expected to do is use the dowsing to sort of wander about a little bit aimlessly, uh, trying to find, like, holy water, sacred water. But actually, there is only one place in the woods which has water we can use. There aren't many places in the woods that actually have water, period. There's this place here, but that is important for a little bit later, like the best part of this area. Instead, what I'm going to do, is this a quick way of doing it? I feel like it might be the quickest way of doing it. Returning to the sky, uh, because, you know, I know where the water is. I'm a little bit annoyed about the fact that I know where the water, well, not annoyed by the fact that I know where the water is. I'm annoyed of the place where the water is. It's not good. It's not as, I don't know. This is my slightly, not passive-aggressive episode, but my things could be a lot better episode. Where's where's the green shaft of light? Here we go. Because, you know, it will be kind of... Uh, does this need to happen? Can't we just go to the next dungeon? I really like the next dungeon, so I imagine that doesn't help. That we with constant delays and we're putting it off, and I just really want to do it. I just don't want to play around in Farron Woods anymore. It's a bit exasperating. Now, uh, I want to go to this one. We have to go to the forest temple. We're going to go back to the Skyview temple. And even better, I'm not going to do it this episode because we're kind of running low on time. We can't just walk through the Skyview temple. That would be easy. That would be way too easy if you look. That's the only place where we can find holy water. I'm calling it holy water because I, I feel more comfortable with that. But through the, you know, going to the Skyview temple... That's the only place? Why are we going to go back to this, into the Skyview Temple? I have no idea. But this has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and in the next episode, we're going to go through the Skyview Temple again, find some holy water, hello, uh, Moblin, how you doing? And we're going to cure the water, dra water dragon, and hopefully start the next dungeon, because I really want to start the next dungeon, because it's amazing! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.